friends, it's Michelle here, and we have another in our Meet the Author series. We have a great book to talk about today. Um, Jeremiah Brown is here to talk to us about his book, Don't Feed the Ducks. Jeremiah, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. We always like to talk about what made you write this awesome book. So tell us about your journey. What made you write this book? Well, basically, um, because of the pandemic, my wife and I didn't have childcare, so I had to, one of us had to step down so um, from our job, so I did. And I always wanted, wanted to be an illustrator, um, and I, I was kind of floundering around trying to, what do I do now? Because oh, I wanted to pursue that since I had the time. And so I said, eh, I'll just write a book and do it. Well, what's the book about? It's about a little boy, Devante, who uh, him and his family always go for walks uh, every every night. And um, every night they pass this pond that has ducks. And he always wants to feed the ducks. And he always asks his parents, can I feed the ducks? And they say, no, you can't, because there's signs all over that say, don't feed the ducks. And so he one day he actually sneaks some, some uh, bread from the dinner table and actually feeds the ducks and gets in trouble. And it turns into this big or his, his problem becomes a bigger thing because he lies about it and um it's just kind of his his adventure of uh, dealing with telling the truth and trusting the people he loves and i love the illustrations they were hilarious like the <laughs> duck literally just gets bigger and bigger um the more that he tells this big fib and so that's it, it's a it was a great a representation for kids to see how you start off with this, these little itty bitty things and they, they just grow into these big things that you can't control. Are you, that this was a great, you know, first dip into the illustrator author pool. Are, are you working on anything now? Oh uh, yeah. One that's um, done basically. It'll be out um, probably in two or three weeks uh, on Amazon again. Um, oh. um, it's called help, with help from monsters. Um, okay. The, Stars uh, Devante's sister. So I've gotten text saying, oh, there's my, their little sister is going to be excited that, they, that Aya gets her own book. So I, I love that you definitely seem to write from personal experience and you write what you know and you write what's familiar and it comes across like it's it's very clear that these are realistic relatable characters um and that's awesome um i always give that advice to um people who ask me how to get started the, one of the first things um that i always say is you should write what you know because if you write what you know you know it'll come it'll it'll come across in, in the in the book it'll be authentic, people will like it, and you won't really have to think about it. Um, do you have any um, advice for any new authors um, as to how to get going in this and how to, you know, start? The biggest uh, piece of advice is just do it. Um, uh, that's my old art professor used to say, or story used to t tell, um, it was like every time you draw, every time you try to create something, um, whether it be, you know, a, a book or a play or anything really um in the back of your mind he, he pictures like all the greats in, in the room with you you know like, like whispering in your ear like you know you're you're not doing a very good job here and you know the lighting looks kind of terrible and um but the, the more you just do it the the more those voices go away and the more every, everybody disappears and then it's just just you drawing and you're are you creating and that's when you really uh, that's when the art really comes and um and that's kind of, that, uh, that was kind of a motivator for doing this because it's just like um, it's a big undertaking, you know, 32 pages in the story and everything. And, um, but you just keep that in your mind, like, just do it. Just just do it. You've given that piece of advice before. It's just you just do it and, yeah. and it'll get done and you yeah. figure the rest out. Well, yeah. where, can, where can readers find your 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 book? Uh, it's on Amazon.com. Um, so just type in either Jeremiah Brown or Don't Feed the Ducks. Both both of them will pop up. It'll pop up there. Okay. Um, and yeah. you can also find Don't Feed the Ducks on the Just Like Me Presents page. He is a Just Like Me pick author. Um, and you can go to our page, click that tab, and you will find a copy. And you can look at the book and read the synopsis and decide if it's a great ad for your personal home library. Um, so thank you, Jeremiah, for, for talking with us today about this book, this really cute book that gives a great lesson for kids. I encourage everybody to check it out. Um, thank you for you guys for watching today. And remember, if our children can see it, they can achieve it.